Hello and welcome back. We are starting chapter three of the Wrath Transformations Unit. And a quick reminder, if you did not take advantage of the past two days for makeup work in my class, you will have to attend office hours in order to make up any assignment up until this point. If you have questions about that, feel free to send me an email or a text so I can clarify. Just to do a little refresher of what we do know um, about the Rocky Mountains and the Great Plains and how they possibly could have formed is that we know that magma cooled to form the Rocky Mountains. So we know those Rocky Mountains are igneous rocks. And then we know that eventually the Great Plains somehow that sediment were formed from sediment being compacted and cemented over time. So we know the Great Plains have formed due to a sedimentary rock process. But how could the sediment that formed the Great Plains have come from the rock in the Rocky Mountains? Also, how could the magma that formed the Rocky Mountains have come from the Great Plains? So we're still trying to answer these questions in this chapter. We're going to explore a few different things. I also want to just give you a couple of possibilities to answer that question. Again, the question is, where did the, the magma and sediment that formed the rock of the Great Plains and Rocky Mountains come from? Claim one is saying that sediment that formed the Great Plains came from the rock of the Rocky Mountains. Claim two is saying that the magma that formed the Rocky Mountains came from the rock of the Great Plains. We can narrow it down, narrow it down to one of these two claims as a possibility to answer this question, but I'm not going to tell you which yet. We're going to do some investigating in this chapter to try and figure that out. You might want to pause and think about that, looking at this slide and try and think which claim right now you think makes the most sense based off of what you do know. You're about to read an article in a few minutes. It's going to be in Amplify. And while you read, I want you to, first of all, think carefully about what you read. Pay attention to your own understanding. Also, as you read, annotate the text in Amplify to make a record of your thinking. Highlight challenging words and add notes to record questions and make connections to your own experience. This will help you actually understand the reading better. And then make sure you are also examining all visual representations carefully. That means any pictures, don't just skip over them. Actually look at them and look at the text underneath them. Also, as you read, you might discuss what you've read with others. If you want to do this with a friend or over the phone um, to help you better understand the text. Good luck.